Hey everybody, Dutzels here, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VII. Last time, we did a quest at the Gold Saucer to uh, get the Keystone, which is the key to open up the Temple of the Ancients. And after we did that, we went on a date with Aerith, and I kind of brushed over how you could potentially go on a date with uh, Tifa, or Yuffie, or yours true, or not yours truly, but everyone's favorite waifu in this game, Barrett Wallace. We also did see that Ketchi is actually a spy employed by the Shinra to to steal the keystone from us and get to the Temple of the Ancients first. This time, we're across the sea. Yep, we're in Junon. We're on the, we're near Junon in this continent. And yes, I did get the buggy over here. All you need to do to get the buggy into the first continent is to um is to just go into Costa del Sol while riding the buggy and then just take the and then just take the cargo ship across and then boom. Now you're riding in Junon with a buggy. However, I am not doing this just for funsies because you know how before we went to the gold saucer, the gold saucer we were doing, you know, we were doing, uh, we were doing some side quests. Yeah, yeah, it's time for another side quest. But don't worry, this one won't take up the entire episode. This one will be. I mean, it should be fairly quick. I hope it's fairly quick. I don't know. I'll have to get a little bit lucky on this one, but it might not be that quick. All right, what what you're gonna want to do is. Go past Junon on over this little river right here, and there's a cave in the side of this mountain. Yep, just hanging out here. Nothing story related or anything. And there's this dude here. Who are you? Hmm, this is fate that I woke up and met you here. Receive the bolt ring. This man will wake up if you talk to him, and and sometimes give you some items. Large material is high level material. But once you, but uh, if you fulfill a very specific condition, then he will give you a special item. I'm not going to tell you what the special item is, but I am going to say this has some pretty annoying requirements for getting this item. The requirements are as follows. The amount of battles you have been in. Well, regarding the amount of battles you've been in, the last two digits of that number have to be matching odd numbers or zeros. So if the amount of battles you are in ends in 1-1 one, one, or 3-3 three, three, or 5-5, five, five, seven, seven, nine, nine, zero, zero, Oh, he gives you a counter. I didn't actually realize he would give you a counter. That makes it much easier. You've already fought 368 times. Uh, all right, so that means I'm gonna have to, all right, next number would be 77. So I have to get into nine more battles, okay. And I guess this guy could be used as a progress update. I went back to him just to check my status and he'll also tell you how many times you've ran away from battles, and it appears I've run away 43 times, which I don't think I've ever run away from that many battles before. I guess if you want to use Choco Buckle, then that could be good for you, but no one uses Choco Buckle, so... Alright, with that last group of Nosferatuths, we can finally talk to this guy and see what exactly I want from him. That requires us to have such a specific battle counter. I swear if I got into a battle as I was walking into this cave. Who are you? Hmm, I guess it is fate that I woke up you. Uh, I woke up and met you here. Received the mithril. This is the item I was looking for. Because I'm heading back to the second continent with my buggy. Because, well, I kind of need it to get where I'm going. I'm going to cut to that right now. Okay, we're here now. Welcome to the... Welcome to this wandering weapons trader. I think that's who I'm gonna call him now. I don't know. Remember we talked to him to get to... 
get the directions to find the keystone. So let's go in here and talk to him with the mithril. Huh? Where was? Uh, uh, let's change the subject. All I you see here. Uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to have any mithril on you, would you? I'll trade you something good if you could spare some. All right, let's give him the mithril. Hey, thanks. All right, you can help yourself to either a big or small box. Um, crap. Which one? Uh oh. Uh, uh. Which one do I pick? Crap. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. I just looked it up. You want to open the small box, and you get. Wait, what? Wait, what? All right. I've been grinding for the new for the for another miss mithril. And Aerith got a new limit break. She got, um... She got Pulse of Life, which fully restores all allies. So, yeah. Aerith, we get it. You're the ultimate support character. I mean, you're, you're the ultimate magic support character. But, like, jeez, calm down a bit. I swear, I keep on getting these. Like, Cloud just got another one. He just got... What is it? He just got Meteor Rain. This is a level 3 limit break. Okay, uh, I guess, yeah, Meteor Rain, it launches a lot of meteors at the enemies. Because we've gotten to the point where Limit Breaks are starting to get so good that now they just straight up start hitting multiple times. Meteor Rain, I don't know how many times it hits, it might be eight times. I think each of them has, like, I don't know how many... I don't know how lower or higher the damage is than a normal attack. I think it might be, like... 0.75 times the the strength of a normal attack, but yeah, they just launch a bunch of meteors that randomly hit random enemies. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Although it would be cooler if I just didn't have to grind up these enemies. Boom! I got another mithril. All right, I was kind of scared that I that I would only get one mithril per playthrough because I accidentally uh, I accidentally talked to him while. Uh, I was like one short and I was like, oh crap, did I, did I, uh, only have one chance to get a mithril in this game? Alright, let's go, let's go back to the cabin weapon dealer dude. I made myself a fit, a fifth save slot just in case this, just in case this doesn't work. Alright, don't come barging in here. Let's go into this, no, hey. No, let me go into a box. Let me go into a box. Wait, what? Oh, wait! Oh, crap! Okay, the guide I- The guide I saw on the fandom, because I didn't actually- uh, I never actually did this side quest, is look in the small box in the second floor. I forgot there was a small box on the second floor, so I looked at the one in the first floor. There we go. And that is how you get the Great Gospel. Now the Great Gospel, what exactly is that you ask? Well, let's go into our, let's go into our uh, inventory and see what exactly it is. Learn Limit Skill, Great Gospel. Yeah, this is similar to the to the Cosmo Memory and, um, crap, what was it? Cosmo Memory and All Creation. However, we can actually use this right now. Never mind. Wait, what? I just grinded a bit again, and by grinded, I mean I went into a battle, turned on cheats, and then spammed, and spammed Eret's level 2 limit break, Breath of the Earth. So, I could get another level 2 limit break called Fury Brand, which raises everyone's limit gauge to the max except yours, which is kind of interesting. However, that's not the reason why I did that. Because now, we have every single limit break from levels 1 through 3 on Aerith. Now that we have unlocked everything we can for Aerith right now, let's use Great Gospel. Yep, we lose- we use Great Gospel and I get a trophy called See the Light, which we get for learning Great Gospel. Yeah, these- 
specific items are used to unlock new limit breaks, which are only unlocked once you've unlocked every other limit break. The Great Gospel fully restores all allies and makes them invincible, making it, yeah, it's definitely the strongest limit break we have for Aerith. So I'm gonna immediately stick that onto her, and then we can finally get on um, with the main quest. And now, after many, many detours, welcome to the Temple of the Ancients. And this goofy uh, music. Hey, it's Sang. Sang of the Turks? Oh, I've been tricked. It's not the promised land Sephiroth's searching for. Sephiroth? He's inside? Look for yourself. Damn. Letting Aerith go is the start of my bad luck. The president was wrong. You're wrong. The promised land isn't like what you imagined. And I'm not going to help. Either way, there's no way Shinra could have won. <sighs> Pretty harsh. Sounds like something you'd say. The keystone. Place it on the altar. And we got the keystone back. Okay, thanks, Reeve. Catchy, I still hate you. He's gonna... He's gonna... Okay, yeah, he, he kind of he kinda needs it. Because, I mean, he doesn't look dead. You crying? Sings with our enemy, the Turks. I've known him since we were little. There's not a lot of people I can say about that. In fact, there are only a handful of people in the world who really know me. Huh. So, saying apparently knew, knew Aerith when she was really young, so that's kind of interesting. Alright, get to the time for the keystone. Uh, keystone? Keystone. There we go. Let's put the keystone in. Doink. Oh no, now we have to get four of them. Uh, whatever, we'll just stick it in. It'll work. And through the floor we go. Yep. Welcome to the Temple of the Ancients. Words, feelings, so many of them here. <laughs> this place smells good. It smells the same as Cosmo Canyon. Cloud. I know it's going to be tough, but don't do it. We can do it. I mean, don't. No, don't do it. Yes, do do it. We can. We can do it. Don't give up. And I don't know what the heck that thing is, but uh, I want it. So yeah, taking a look at this place, imagine what it have been. What it would have been like if you have been. If you were playing the original Japanese release of this game where they didn't have the red and green markers for what is a door and what isn't a door and what is a ladder and isn't a ladder. That would be rough. Oh, hey, new enemy. And these enemies look pretty freaking cool. This is a door bull. Yeah, great name, I know. Level 35, 2800 HP, I don't care. Let's take a look at how Meteor Rain looks. Cause I am gonna say you're gonna like this attack. Uh-huh. That said 800 what? Eight times? I think it's eight times. I don't know. Might have been ten. Who knows? Aerith got a level up. And yeah, welcome to the Temple of the Ancients. This is uh, the most... This is probably the closest you could get to the definition of a labyrinth in a top-down game without making it like completely uh, easy. Uh, hit it with a blood bang. Uh, yeah, this place... Did you really just frog me? Yeah, I can totally use a blood fang in this form. Daddy, I think I... 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 
I killed it as a frog. All right. Welcome to the Temple of the Ancients. Possibly based on relative on the painting Relativity by M. C. Escher. Uh, I don't believe this is confirmed, but I mean, just based on the looks of this place, it's definitely a possibility. We do have some pretty uh outlandish looking character designs though. Like this enemy is called a Kelsmelzer, which looks like it's kind of bipedal. It's kind of standing upright, but it's also like a centipede thing. I don't know what it is. And I don't want to know what it is. Now, like any other dungeon, we do have some we do have some uh we do have items, you know, we've got a trident, which is actually a weapon for Sid Highwind. Um, wait, I just went down those. Okay. I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to navigate this place. Uh, let's just start walking up, let's go take some directions and walk up some stairs. These stairs don't want to get walked up, okay. Uh, let's head over here then. Climb up the vines, sure. Let's head up these vines and... Sealed? That sound brings back memories. So, we have a door that we can't go through because it just, like, magically repels us or something. And, um... I'm going to assume that whatever we're chasing is the correct direction. So I'm gonna not go in the direction that it's going, or that it was in, just so I can do, do more exploration, because, you know. RPG player, noun. Someone who obvious who takes the least obvious route in order to discover more secrets about a game. All of my characters just got frogged, so I'm just gonna use my Leviathan to kill the zombies enemies. So let's just take a look at what this has going for us. Because I used Aqualung twice, and then that's an interesting screech sound. It's a 2,000 damage each, okay, or 2,600 damage each. Yeah, Cloud. I mean, Aerith and Nanaki both got frogged. So, ooh, restore level up. That's nice. And we get an Impaler. What is that? Is that a weapon or a battle item? I think it might be a battle item because you don't usually get uh. Okay, yeah, you don't usually get weapons from a regular enemy turns one opponent into a frog. Sure, why not? And I now realize that this staircase doesn't exactly go anywhere, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna head back up and take the only way that I can. And you would definitely want not want to miss this mine source up here before we go into a new uh, a new place. And we see this guy and a chest right here which I want we get a silver rifle that's obviously going to be a weapon for Vincent and let's talk to this guy nom 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 phew we kind of we finally caught up to you I'm sorry you waited for me those are the spirit bodies of the ancients They've been away from their planet for a long time to protect this temple. Over the many years, they've lost the ability to talk. Actually, they didn't need words from the beginning because there is only one one objective for those left in the temple. Please, talk to me! No good, I can't understand the rest. Are you afraid? Is it because Sephiroth is in the temple? Or something else? So, we do have confirmation that Sephiroth is in the temple. And talking to this ancient, we can buy items, fully heal, and and save our game. Um I don't think I need any of these, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna full heal and then be on my way. Now let's go ahead and go through this archway where we can get ourselves an unmissable turbo ether. And now let's run down on a little bit of a path that I used in the 
in the introduction for this series, where, yeah, we got a little preview of what's to come with, uh, regarding the, regarding the art style of this game in the intro, because you saw me running around this labyrinth in the intro, and, uh, yeah. Alright, what's in this chest? We've got a rocket punch. That is a weapon for Bear. That's a weapon for Barret. It is, I'm pretty sure that, I, actually I don't know if that's a long range or short range weapon. Cause like rocket punch makes me feel like it's a long ranged weapon, but also the punch makes me feel like it's a short range weapon. All right, around here, towards the bottom, we've got not much. First of all, Cloud got a level up. Second of all, Aerith's Earth Materia got a level up. And third of all, there is actually something up this set of vines. Because you can barely see it in the, in the artwork, but uh, on the ground, we have a Luck Plus Materia. This is a Materia similar to the HP Plus, where you give it to a character and it just increases that stat. In this case, luck. So, who knows, maybe it could be useful on certain Yuffie or Nanaki builds. But a little tidbit of information is that in the original release, uh, this, this specific item was accidentally... Well, I wouldn't say this specific item, but that specific luck plus materia was accidentally given the name Lucky Plus. So that's a little bit of a fun fact. And I do believe these guys might be fire elemented, so... Oh, I forgot I put the fire ring on Nanaki. Whoop! I guess that was a convenient fire blank. Oh boy, this part. Alright, welcome to a bit of a puzzle area in the Temple of the Angels, where... If you played Super Mario Galaxy 2, I think you know where this is going. We have to find the right boulder to get under so we won't get crushed by the boulder. We gotta get our timings perfect. So, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna... But we don't exactly get crushed by a boulder, we just kind of, uh, get rolled all the way back down to the beginning. <laughs> like, don't stunlock me in a puzzle section. I see. Dude! Okay, there we go. Alright, let's try this again. When, whenever Cloud successfully hides underneath a boulder, he will do a little crouching animation to show you that he's protected. And these are actually fairly generous in the hitboxes that they give you. Like, see, there we go. I thought for sure I would have gotten hit by that one. I'm gonna be here for a little bit. And, 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 yep, there we go. Alright, that green blink, that is, that represents I guess a safe space, a checkpoint if you will. Because once you get that green, you're gonna roll back to here instead of towards the beginning, which is kind of nice. And over here, we get an interesting materia. This materia is called Morph. And it requires me to get a new, sh a new sheet of paper. Because Morph is a materia that is very similar to steel, where if certain conditions are met, you can get special items from enemies. However, unlike the steel materia, these are a bit more specialized. Except in a couple of cases, like for specific quest-related items. Hold on, I'm gonna pause. These boulders are getting annoying. The, the morph materia is used to get source items, so you can kind of stack grind your characters if you find the right enemies. But the way Morph Materia works is interesting, because the boulder sound is still playing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Unlike the Steel Materia, where you can just use it on any enemy, and if you get lucky, you get an item, the Morph Materia actually does damage. It doesn't do much damage, I believe it only does an eighth of your regular attack damage. But if you kill an enemy with it, then they will transform into an item. And yeah, you can basically just transform enemies into items and then add them to your inventory. Which is an interesting way to go about it. 
Although, Yuffie is a good character for farming, for getting enemies to be, to be morphed into new items, because later in the game, she will get a weapon known as the Conformer, which ignores the damage drop-off from using Morph. So, she can effectively use the Morph Materia while doing meaningful damage to enemies. And yep, I made it. I made it. That was what, second try on this one? Nice. Phew, we did it. Everyone all right? That was rough. Well, she's talking to someone else now. No, Cloud, come quick. Hurry, this way. I'm, I'm coming. I'm holding down the... I don't even have to use the control stick. I just have to run. All right. I was wondering what this is. Because it has served no immediate purpose. It's full of the knowledge of the ancients. Can I eat it? No. Not knowledge. Consciousness. A living soul. Will I learn another shout if I learn it? If I eat it? It's trying to say something. I'm sorry, I don't understand. What? What is it? Danger? An evil... Consciousness? Sephiroth! Show? You're going to show me? Well, Sephiroth is gonna appear out of the middle of nowhere? What's going on? I wouldn't say that guy's too much of a shadow of darkness compared to the other people that are in this temple. Wait, look, it's showing us. Saying, what's this? Can we find the promised land with this? I wonder. Anyway, we have to report to the president. Be careful, Sang. Yeah. Hey, Elena. How about dinner after this job's over? Thank, thank you very much. If, if I may be excused. All right, Sang. What do we got? Is this the promised land? No. It can't be. There's alligators everywhere. Sephiroth! Yes, it is I. So, you open the door. Well done. This place, what is it? A lost treasure house of knowledge. The wisdom of the ancients. I am becoming one with the planet. One with the planet? Ooh, spooky. You stupid fools. You've never even thought about it. All the spirit energy of this planet. All its wisdom. Knowledge. I am transparent. I will meld with it all. I will become one with it. The force is one with me. I'm one with the force and the force is with me. You can do that? The way lies here. Only death awaits you all, but do not fear. For it is through death that a new spirit energy is born. Soon you will live again as a part of me. Ominously flies off, but not towards the camera this time. Sephiroth. Did you see it? I... I saw it! Where's the room with the pictures on the walls? Almost there. Sephiroth is here, right? 
no matter what he thinks, it's going to end here. I'm taking him out. Don't forget about us. Huh. Active threat by Sephiroth. Hello, ancient dude. I'm going to save my game here because combined with the little side quest we did, we did a decent chunk of the Temple of the Ancients and I am going to save the rest of the Temple of the Ancients for me to deal with whenever I get to it. See you guys then.